So hello you guys, my name is Marco, it's been about a month since I made the last video, so today, big announcement, uh, first of all, look at these babies, look at these babies, real yolks from, I believe they're casts, but nevertheless, I mean, they're made from real yolks, I mean, and they're just gorgeous. I installed them about a week ago and as you can see they're linked they work beautiful and I just love them what a difference so that's number one number two I just received about 120 Zeus screws which I painted and installed as you can see so now I replaced all the screws with Zeus screws I believe that's what you call them, Zeus screws, spelled D-Z-U-S, something like that. And what else can I show you? What's new? That's about it for now, really. But, you know, as I said, it's never finished. You always add something else. So my next project would be real CDUs or something that looks real, but uh, I still got to figure out the video out. But for now, I use a software one anyways, if I go for a, you know, longer trip. Otherwise, I usually shorter trips. I don't even use the uh, FMCs or CDUs. Some people call them FMCs, some people call them CDUs. Um, next, I got to find a couple of shorter paddle switches here. They're okay, but they're just too long. And another thing which is in the, in the works is I... I'm finding a printer so I can print uh, information out of the printer here. So this is fake right now. So I'm working on getting a real printer there, about 150 bucks, 200 bucks, they're not that much. I had to replace the transponder because this one here failed. So I got a new one. So all three um, uh, radios work here. Um, and I use them a lot, of course. So today I'm actually starting from uh, cold, what's called cold and dark. I want to show you the full procedure. Of course, this is a simulator. So um, in the hope that you might get some hints in there or might simulate some questions or some thinking. So there you go. So the projectors are turned on. As you know, I have two projectors. They make 180 degrees with two projectors. This is my trusted um, electronic flight bag. I love this thing. Trust me, get you one of yourself one of these $180, 200 bucks. So basically a Windows computer, like a Windows 8 in it. But what I do with it is essential. So let's uh, get going here. So the first thing I do normally, first thing I do is I start this program called, and again, I love it. It's called Fly Simulator Platform Solution, FSPS. And basically what this does is it allows you to not only start them in the sequence you want, the program, so for example, the simulator, FDC, Flight Deck Companion, very important program, all the sounds, all the sounds effects. Of course, the MCP is what I start next, which is the, um, the um, CP Flight, um, uh, yeah, MCP, of course, Mode Control Panel, or Autopilot, you know, in short. And then RAS is the last thing I start, which is a runway advisor, something like that. In other words, it makes sure that you are uh, on the correct runway and sometimes fog or dark, you know. So in other words, there is a, a verbal reminder that you are on the right runway or you're crossing a runway, okay? So, but not only this program allows you to do that, but what really, uh, uh, what I really like about FSPS is that you can allocate processors, CPUs to any way you want. So instead of then letting Windows, it's, it's really the same process of affinity mask, but this does it for you. So instead of then letting Windows allocate the processor that it likes, which is not necessarily the way you want them, you can allocate any processor to any of these tasks. So in other words, FS9 has priority, the simulator has priority or everything, so it gets most of the processor's power. And the rest, they're, they're set to low priority, okay? So I definitely recommend FSPS. 
uh, whether you're using FS9 or FSX or Prepare 3D, get yourself one because it makes your life a lot easier. So from here, first thing I do is I start, of course, the simulator itself. There you go. Of course, it's a custom uh, um, entry page, whatever you call it, wallpaper, whatever you call it. And there you go. So now, because of course we got projectors, uh, we need to press. We need to press Alt Enter in order to straighten the image out. And there you go. So now I go ahead. I usually depart from Montreal. Really, it's a beautiful airport and is very well modeled. So let's see, 3.54 p.m., that's fine. Weather, let's put fair weather. And fuel, of course, it's way too heavy, so let's change that. Otherwise, I mean, there's enough fuel to go halfway around the world, so let's lower a little bit so we can do a few takeoffs and landings without breaking the landing gear, of course. And there you go. So now we have 119,000 pounds of fuel. And it's still a little heavy to land, but that's okay. All right. So now we got that in place. Time is good. 3.54 p.m. Yeah, that's fine. And let's start, of course, from the gate. Okay, for weather, okay. So now I say fly now, okay. But of course I'm not going to fly now, meaning I'm, this means that the simulator is ready to go. Then we have a host of other different things to start. I think I got about eight or nine things that I start all at once. There you go. So now, as you can see, the gauges are all over the places, of course. So, because you see this is a question we get a lot. How do you make the gauges go in the proper uh, screens. So, well, once you set them up the way you want them uh, and you size them in the screens, then you tell FSUIPC, indispensable program, without FSUIPC, you ain't going anywhere. So once you set them up the way you want them and size them, then you tell FSUIPC to remember that, that location, those locations, and you save that flight so now, when you reopen that same flight, what happens is, the moment I click on any of these screens, okay, right click and say I'm dock, they automatically jump where they're supposed to jump. So, it still shows up there, but that's just a ghost image. Now we go to the PFDs and NDs, there you go, right click, and now look what happens. You're gonna see it from there, it's gonna go over here. Look at you guys, you see that? And then we do the same thing with the ACUS, and it's going to appear over there. Boom. There you go. So that's how you do it. Now, of course, the screen on the front looks black because right now the size is not proper. So I move it slightly. Then we have a screen. So now we go back to... Now, of course, the simulator is still in windowed mode right now. That's not the way we're going to fly. We go back to, FS, uh, to uh, FSPS. We start FDC, Flight Deck Companion. There you go. I love this program. I have all kinds of custom-made sounds uh, from real air airplanes. So for now, we're just going to put any any destination here. Let's put uh, Rome, Italy. Who cares? And of course, connect. And now that's going to start doing its thing. Connect. Now we go back to FSPS. We start. All passengers on board, Captain. Of course. Thank you. We start the MCP and we start RAS, runway avoidance uh, advisor, whatever that means. Okay. And now we minimize FSPS because we don't need that anymore. And the moment we connect the MCP, the front screen is going to maximize and all the screens here there you go front screen maximize and we click in the middle of the screen now and we go alt enter alt to explain the 
enter and now everything is maximizing and it's going to go in the saved positions as you can see there you go perfect there you go okay so there you go that's my beautiful cockpit so now I'm going to change the ND so I'm going to set this down for a second bear with me you guys I'm going to change the ND so that I can see the runways of course the cabin announcements are already started that's FTC doing that Checks complete. Ready for push back and, engine start. and now you're going to hear the TCAS TCAS system ok there you go so that's all good so let me see here all good yes Okay. Testing all the surfaces. As you can see. Ailerons, rudder, see you guys, the rudder, okay, ailerons, elevators, there you go. Okay, so it's all good. So now we're going to call the pushback. Now in the meantime, as I wait for the pushback, I'm going to start here two things, live ATC, which gives me, of course, real airplanes in the sky right now. We're going to set Montreal, might as well, C-U-I-L, enter. So at least we have some real environment going on. Power, sure, why not? Of course sometimes you hear them right away sometimes it takes a few minutes and we can minimize that because that's once it started you don't need that anymore and now the most important part right here free air map this thing is a lifesaver of course I made this myself the uh, front screen here you can put whatever you want <coughs> this thing is a, a moving map uh, all kinds of information all kinds of information you guys so there you go menu let's see north top sure why not map Releasing parking brakes. Now, the moment I release the par parking brake, the uh, cockpit is going to do a system check. So, you're going to hear a bunch of warnings. Just um, in real life, it's not really done every time, if ever. Uh, I probably hear it one every 100 videos. Uh, but, anyways, mine is set to do it every time. So, there you go. The moment I release the parking brake, you're going to see the airplane is going to st start getting pushed back. But as well, you're going to hear the warnings the cockpit doing a system check I can, I can break off there you go so now we're going to start pushing us back there you go so as you can see those pushing us back I'm going to zoom in a little bit so as you can see we're going to be able to see the actual airport there you go 
and of course you can zoom in and out see right there okay so now the uh, the ground folks said it's okay to start the engines so the sequence I normally use well first of all we're gonna have to remove with these guys here of course so the sequence I normally use is four one two three so and the way it works of course is you start you open the um, the started here number four and you hold it for a few seconds then you wait until the end ones reach 2.6 roughly and that's when you open the valve down here okay there you go 20 percent open the valve okay so now we open uh, number one we start number one and we get ready down here and we wait until we reach so he wants parking brakes on fine and that's engine number one so two more to go we're gonna go number two now it's the start it. get ready down here we wait Fire on number three. I mean number two and now last but not least number three. So there you go, it's revving up. We wait. Number three, and there you go. That's number three. So all four engines are starting, are started and running. Okay. Okay, so actually, should turn this on. Looks a little bit better. So, ground give us the all right. Let's uh, tune uh, the radio to the tower here. Ground 121.9. So, 121.9. So, that's ground. So, once you have ground air Canada 61 heavy with India, request text for the parking straight out. Just to make sure that runway 6 left using Bex Way Canada 961 Heavy. Okay, so they give us runway 6 left. And uh, let's see, our tower is 119.9. So 119 decimal 9. So we're good with ground. So we're going to switch to tower. So we're good. Now, over here, what we're going to do is uh, we have VFR right now, so flight director on, initial speed 193 is good enough, 195, altitude we're going to go uh, 5,000 for now, and uh, heading it's going to be, well we, put, we haven't set a course, over here, as you can see, there is no pink line. We're just gonna go around the airport right now. That's all we're gonna do. Okay, just take off and land. I just wanna show you guys the procedures here. That's about it. Okay, so flaps, 10 is good enough. For this weight, everything is good. So, I can break is off and we are going to start moving. Okay, on the 
little better. So there you go. So runaway six left is right behind us to our seven o'clock. Easy does it. So it's uh, mid-afternoon right now. The sky is nice and clear, beautiful day to fly. So let's find ourselves that uh, yellow line there and follow it to six left. Yeah, today I'm uh, flying. Oh, <laughs> I'm going all over the places here. Today I'm flying in shorts, summertime. It's uh, 29 degrees in Calgary here today. Nice and easy. Let's test our yokes one more time. Everything is good. Yep. So there is a couple of entrances here, there is here a shorter one, we're not heavy today but still this is a 747 big bird so might as well get a, as much runaway as we can so we're gonna take the, the very last or the first entrance to the runaway and I'm gonna settle the uh, phone down, I have a bracket here so I can use both hands of course. So we're gonna stop right here at the yellow line, we're gonna ask permission. So, and break. So, let's change it to power. 19900. But not far enough, I guess. By the way, it's an airplane landing right there, you guys. Beautiful. Let's see if we're far enough. Yeah. Just clearance. Montreal Tower, Canada 6 1 Heavy Heavy. Runway 6 left. We're ready for the patch trail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All short runway 6 left there, Canada 6 1 Heavy. So we need all short. There you go, that's the runway to our right. So I guess I will put the phone down here on the bracket so that I can get both hands going here. Let me see, I hope this is right. Hope you guys can see it. Bend it down a little bit. I should do it. Let me see. I hope it's okay. There you go. So I'm gonna wait for them to give us permission. Clear for takeoff. 
Clear for the golf from way six left, six left, clear to uh, six or nine. All right, so one last minute check, make sure everything is okay. Flight director is on, all the throttle armed. So what we do is we, of course, here, let me show you guys. So of course, every takeoff is different depending on the weight of the airplane, how much fuel, the winds, direction and strength, the runway condition, runway length and all of that and many other parameters. The auto throttle calculates how much throttle you need to take off every particular time. So once you arm the auto throttle, basically what you do is you, you set the throttle to about 40% and then you go you start going forward with the with the thrust levers but then you engage uh, auto throttle and what happens is the computer decides how much thrust you need for this particular takeoff usually it stops at around 90 92 percent 93 sometimes 89 it depends again on the, all, all these parameters so that's what's gonna happen okay All right, so let's uh, line up with the runway here. Approaching zero six left. Yeah, that's the runway uh, incursion advisor I was talking uh, with you guys uh, just before. So make sure that. Because think about it, what if it's night time or foggy, whatever, so it makes sure that you are on the proper runway, on the right runway, okay? One runway, zero six left. All right, so we're good to go. One last check. Flaps is good. Spoilers is good. Everything is good. Armed, flight director on, on, and we're good to go, you guys. So, as I said, so what we normally do is that we, uh, when we start going forward, accelerating, uh, it's not common practice, but I've seen some pilots doing it. Um, they push the nose of the airplane slightly forward, so down. I guess it makes the airplane a little bit more aerodynamic. Uh, I mean, today we are really light, so it really doesn't matter. So we're going to set the thrust to about 40%. And you can hear revving up. And then we're going to start moving forward and we set all the throttle. And as you can see, it decides where to go by itself. Speed active. We'll put the nose down just a little bit. set now the uh, vertical speed to 1700 feet per minute the speed 210 is good the uh, heading right now it's free wheeling really uh, let's see let's uh, go around the airport here so now the airplane's got some points curving right show you these beautiful textures I hope you guys can see them you guys this is a prepared 3d 
version 4. Let me pause the simulator a second. I want to show you guys something here. So what I did, I took textures from Prepare 3D. Look at that, you guys. Does this look like, I don't know if it's clear or not, I'm not sure, but does this look to you like FS9? Look at this, you guys. So what I did was I extracted the, the, the textures from Prepare 3D uh, version 4.264 bit, and uh, I put them into the texture folder of FS9, trees and runaways and everything. And you guys, this is what I got. I mean, my simulator never looks so gorgeous. I think on the camera it's a little blurry, but believe me, what I see out there is just gorgeous. Let me see if I can show you. I guess not. I mean, look how busy that thing, look how busy. Because what it did is it actually added, instead of them replacing, see, for example, if you look at that, if you look at that city down over there in Montreal, see, before the buildings were even 60% of that. So what it does is, a, I believe it added, it added the, the the more building. I mean, look look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I think it's a little blurry, but you get the idea. I mean, it added buildings to the existing F FS9, so now it looks so much busier, so much thicker. I mean, I never looked this beautiful before. I wish I could show you on camera here on this phone. I know it's blurry, but believe me, it's just gorgeous. You guys... Um, Look at that. Let me look down there. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Look at that, you guys. Have you ever seen textures like that in FS9? Never. Never. I mean, supermarkets, hotels, it's crazy. Look at that. Okay. I didn't think it was going to work, but it worked just fine. So, I'm going to unpause the simulator and we're going to get going again again. All I'm going to do is just land, okay? Just want to show you guys the procedure. That's about it. Not much, really. I hope. There you go. All right, so unpause. <laughs> There you go, you guys. I want to show you again. Now we're closer to the actual city itself. Look at that. Look at that, you guys. I mean, are you kidding me? FS9? <laughs> Look at this. Look how beautiful. You see that? Isn't that amazing? Let's see if I can zoom it in a little bit more. Look at this, you guys. You see cranes. You see light posts look at the diversity of the homes look at the trees you got yellow trees you got ground green uh, green trees i mean this is insane never seen texture like this in fs9 ever okay so let's get going again Look at those clouds, you, cloud, you guys. Look at those beautiful clouds. You're gonna ask for permission to land? On 
Montreal and like kind of listen to Genevi Duane. My traffic sits right. The right traffic on the six right, you can have six one heavy. So six right. So basically, just gonna go around. We'll turn around a little bit. There you go, so we're gonna line up over here and then we're gonna go right into six. Speech. We'll stay at five, a thousand. For now. gorgeous that is out there so I'm gonna put the camera on the stand again because I gotta get ready for landing Start descent for 5,000. We're going to go to 25 for now. It's nice easy. Speed is good for now. This will be the announcements you get just before you get fed. But, uh, of course, the announcement did not expect us to land so soon. So we might or might not get the announcements prepared for uh, landing. So 
landing announcements. Guys, take a look at those taxis out there. Look at that. Look at this. Isn't that insane? Ogni medaglia a mano deve trovarsi ai sottostimili di fronte al posto o nell'armadietto in alto. Gli assistenti di volo procederanno ad un controllo finale della cabina raccogliendo eventuali tacche o bicchieri. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we ask that you store any, any electronic devices until we are safety parts at the gate. As use of such devices can interfere with electronic landing equipment on board the aircraft. In final preparation for landing, please ensure your seat belts are securely fastened, your seat bags are in the upright position, and that your tray tables are stored. Any hand luggage should be underneath the seat in front of you, or placed in the overhead locker. The flight attendants will be passing through the cabin one last time to complete the final competence check and to collect any remaining cups or glasses. So we're going to start doing it right again. We're going to slow down to 180 for now. So we're 2500. Airport is on the other side of the water. I'm gonna start nice and slow the set. One to go.
to the runway, I think. stop it one more time because I want to show you guys those gorgeous sceneries out there there you go look at that look at this you guys come on FS9 look at this whoa what's going on here look at this beautiful airport so now you know why I'm reluctant to switch to prepare 3d or whatever I mean look at this guy look at this look at this look at this got six you can see the balcony there look at this hello look at that see you guys what I mean look at this look at that see if the camera can focus it's just too far away but you, you see what I mean? This is why I'm still flying FS9, you guys. Because I get crazy frame rates. So you tell me. Look at that. Okay, so let's land it because my phone is warning me that the file is becoming too big. Okay, let's just land. And get it over with. Score the time. Speed 165. Minimums. Okay. Continue. 100. 50. 40. 30. 20. 10. Just want to show you guys how gorgeous this airport is. F is nine. Look at this. Spoilers. Ten. I mean, the prepared 3D uh, textures even replace my runways. I mean, you guys, take a look at this. Take a look at this. You got cracks in the concrete. Oh. That's insane.
I know I'm going a little bit too fast. anywhere really doesn't matter for this for this purpose we got an air canada plane here 767 we got a couple of west jet oh we got a jazz over there air canada we got uh west jet 727s and there, over there we got an Air Canada Airbus 319. We're gonna park next to it. Why not? There's an American airliner. What is that? A DC something? No, it's an Airbus. Taking off. Oh, this is actually a six, uh, 767 Air Canada. 763, as they call it. Okay, so let's take this April right here. 57. Knows it's a 747. And a little bit more. Okay, let me show you guys. You see that? Bang, stop. Too far, it says. Sorry. And we are going to set the parking brake. Parking brake set. Brake pressure up. And we are going to shut the engines off. There you go, you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. We shall see you next time.